Once upon a time there lived an old man and an old woman in a small house on the edge of the forest. Everything in their life was arguing, only one thing was missing the old man and the old woman did not have children. Once the old man asked to bake a gingerbread in the shape of a little man. The old woman looked into the barn, and there was almost no flour left. She took a bowl, scrubbed it along the box, swept it along the bottom, and a handful of two handfuls of flour gathered. The old woman kneaded the dough with sour cream, and when she was rolling out a gingerbread on the table, she took it and made it in the shape of a little man with arms, legs, with a head, and put it in the oven. After a while, the old woman came up to see if the gingerbread was baked, took it and put it on the window to cool. The gingerbread man cooled down, lay down, lay down, but suddenly got up and ran as fast as possible out of the house from the window to the bench, from the bench to the floor, across the floor, and to the doors, jumped over the threshold to the porch, from the porch to the courtyard, from the courtyard to the gate, farther and farther. The old woman called her husband, and they both rushed after him. But it's not so easy to catch the gingerbread man. Now, he has already reached the field where the peasants were threshing their crops. Running past, the gingerbread man shouted at them that he had already run away from the old woman and the old man, and he would easily run away from them too. The peasants heard this and ran after him. But, no matter how fast they ran, they could not catch up with him. A gingerbread man ran up to the field where the mowers were mowing the grass. Running past, he shouted to them that he had already run away from the old woman, and from the old man, and from the peasants, and he would easily run away from them too. The mows could not stand such ridicule everyone rushed after the gingerbread man. They run as fast as they can, but they cannot catch up. And towards the little man the cow is walking, he shouted to her that he had already run away from the old woman, and from the old man, and from the peasants, and from the mowers, and he would easily run away from her too. The cow got angry, and also rushed after the gingerbread man. Only he cannot catch up. And to meet him a pig. The little man shouted that he had already fled from the old woman, and from the old man, and from the peasants, and from the mowers, and from the cow, and he would easily run away from her too. A pig screeched and ran after. Only she could not catch up she was too fat. A gingerbread man runs along the road and a hare meets him. The little man said that he had already run away from the old woman and from the old man and from the peasants and from the mowers and from the cow and from the pig and he would easily run away from him too. The hare heard this and ran after him. Nor can he catch up with the little man only the hare saw him. A gingerbread man runs, and a wolf meets him, I will eat you, says. And the little man answered him that he had already fled from the old woman, and from the old man, and from the peasants, and from the moors, and from the cow, and from the pig, and from the hare, and he would easily run away from him too. The wolf growled and rushed at the gingerbread man, and he dodged and ran as fast as he could. Only the wolf saw him. A gingerbread man is running and a huge bear is meeting him. His little man was not afraid, but shouted that he had already fled from the old woman and from the old man and from the peasants and from the moors and from the cow and from the pig and from the hare and from the wolf and he would easily run away from him too. A ferocious bear stamped his foot and ran after him. But the bear was too slow to catch up with the fast gingerbread man. A gingerbread man runs, runs, and a fox meets him. The fox was very cunning, but the little man did not know this. Therefore, out of habit, he began to shout that he had already fled from the old woman, and from the old man, and from the peasants, and from the moors, and from the cow, and from the pig, and from the hare, and from the wolf, and from the bear, which means he will easily run away from her too. The fox listened to the end, and said that she was very old, did not hear anything. 
She came closer to the little man and asked him to repeat it. Abate her silly gingerbread man and began to brag again. The fox listened to the end and said that she still did not hear anything. She came even closer to the little man and asked him to repeat it again. The gingerbread man agreed, and then only he started anew when the fox pounced on him and ate it. And the gingerbread man no longer bragged about. A princess lived in a luxurious castle. She was only 14 years old, but she was terribly spoiled and moody. Once she came up with something for April to come, and there were spring flowers at the New Year's banquet. She issued a decree in which she announced the beginning of spring and promised to generously reward the one who brings snowdrops to the palace. In a small house on the outskirts of the city lived a stepmother with her daughter and stepdaughter. The stepdaughter was a very sweet and kind girl, and her name was Masha. The stepmother and daughter were very lazy and angry, and they hurt the poor girl in every possible way. They really wanted to receive the reward promised by the princess, but they could not think of where to get the snowdrops in winter. The old woman decided to send Masha to the forest to bring them spring flowers. The stepdaughter began to beg her stepmother to take pity on her, because it was dark and cold outside. And what kind of snowdrops can there be in winter? But the greedy old woman did not want to hear anything. She gave a larger basket and drove Masha out the door. The frozen girl was very scared in a dark forest. Suddenly, in the distance, she saw a light. She was delighted and went to meet him. It turned out that it was a large blazing fire, and twelve people were warming themselves around it. Plucking up her courage, the girl approached them and told them that the evil stepmother made her go into the forest and collect snowdrops. It turned out that it was twelve months. The brothers felt sorry for Masha, and they decided to help her. Brother April chanted a spell, and suddenly spring came in the forest and in the clearing. The snow melted, green grass appeared, snowdrops blossomed. The girl began to collect flowers and soon filled a large basket with them. Young April liked her very much, and he gave her a magic ring. If trouble happens, he must be thrown to the ground, a spell cast, and all twelve months will come to the rescue. Masha thanked them and went home. When the girl brought the snowdrops home, the stepmother and daughter were very surprised at this. Masha was very tired from the journey and immediately fell asleep soundly. Her half-sister suspected something was wrong. While the girl was sleeping, she found her magic ring and took it to herself. After waking up, the stepdaughter discovered the loss. She began to beg to return the ring, but her stepmother and daughter did not want to hear anything. Taking a basket of snowdrops, they hurried to the royal palace. In the palace there was a magnificently decorated New Year tree. But the upcoming celebration did not please the capricious princess at all. And only when the stepmother and daughter brought her a whole basket of snowdrops, the princess changed her anger to mercy. The stepmother could not clearly answer where the flowers came from, and she had to admit that her stepdaughter had collected them. The princess immediately decided to go to the meadow with snowdrops. On the way, she looked to poor Masha, so that she would show her the place where she picked flowers. The girl said she would show it, but only if the ring was returned to her. From such insolence, the princess was angry and threw away the ring. But the stepdaughter managed to cast a spell. Immediately a strong wind rose, thunder rumbled, foliage fell, and snow began to fall. Old Man January appeared before them. He invited everyone to make one wish. Out of fear, the princess wished to be in the palace as soon as possible. Masha made a wish that everything would return to its place in due time, winter in winter, summer in summer. The stepmother and her daughter were so frozen that they wanted fur coats from any fur, even from a dog. Saying this, the greedy women immediately turned into dogs. They were harnessed to a sleigh on which the princess was to get to the palace. Masha thanked the brothers for their help. They promised to turn the stepmother and her daughter back into humans, but only when they become obedient. Months gave the girl a wonderful big sled, harnessed by frisky horses. 
Seeing them, the princess asked for a ride to the palace. It was the first time in her life that the princess had uttered the word please. And Masha gladly agreed.